In this video, we have to determine if this vector field is conservative. Before we do this problem, though, we probably should distribute this 3y to the 6, and then we'll talk about um, what that means. So the first step, maybe, is distribute this. So 3y to the 6 times uh, y is going to give us 3y to the 7, i hat. And then 3y to the 6 times this, um, 3 times 7 is 21. That's going to give us uh, 21 uh, y to the 6, x, j hat. Okay, so the question is, is the vector field conservative? And if it is, we'll actually go through and find a potential function, just for fun. So this is your m, always, and this is your n. And so the test for a conservative vector field basically says, you take this, and you take the partial derivative of this with respect to... So the way I do it is, this is like your first component, or like your x component, so you do the other variable. So that'll be 21 y to the 6th using the power rule. This one, it's the second component, so you do the other variable, so x. So the derivative of x is 1, so this hangs out. Ooh, hurrah! They are the same! So the answer is yes, it is a conservative, and they're continuous. It is a con uh, it'd be continuous and the same. Uh, it is a conservative vector field. Okay. So now we have to find the potential function. So what does it mean for this vector field to be conservative? It means there is some unknown function, which we'll call little f, such that this is the gradient of little f. So what that basically means is that this piece here is del f del x. Remember, the gradient is a vector of the first order partials. And this here is del f del y. So because big F is conservative, there exists some unknown function little f such that this is del f del x and this is del f del y. There's a couple different ways to find little f. You can integrate one, differentiate, and do some... You can integrate and differentiate, or you can take the cheap route, which is just integrate both. Let's do it the fast way in this problem. So we're just going to integrate both. So you integrate this to retrieve little f from del f del x. You integrate this with respect to x. So this is a constant. So you just put an x next to it when you integrate it with respect to x. Then you have to add an unknown function of the other variable. So we integrated this with respect to x. So we had an unknown function of y. And, but this is little f. So if we integrate this with respect to y, we're also going to get little f. So little f is equal to little f. So we'll integrate this with respect to y. So power rule, you're going to get 21 well, I'll just skip the step. It'll be 21y to the 7 over 7. That's going to be 3y to the 7. So 3y to the 7, x. The x is a constant, so it hangs out, plus an unknown function of the other variable. So we integrated this with respect to y, so we're going to add an unknown function of x, so h of x. Okay, so this is little f, and this is little f. So now we just write the answer down. So the way I do it, is I just read left to right. Okay, so I write this down. I ignore this. Oh, I already wrote it down, so I don't write it down again. And then don't forget to add a k. And that is the final answer. If these are both little f, that means h of x must be equal to g of y. That means this is just a constant. So that's your little k. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.